rocking like you know it can. Um, you didn't get that even in the Super Bowl. So how, how anxious are you to let players, whatever fans, get to see that, feel that again on Thursday? Really anxious. We uh, we actually were talking about in the quarterback room yesterday that those – no. It's been a while. It's been a while since it was. So I, I'm, I'm really excited about uh, Thursday night. And and uh, I, I, none of our quarterbacks have seen that in there. None of our players have seen it. So I, 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 w- I was telling about some of the big old games and the Monday night game and with St. Louis and and uh, just uh, just some great ones in there. And and uh, so I, I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a fun season. And uh, and I think the players are excited just to have fans back in there. But just to just to see a home game where the place is. Place is really excited and rocking is going to be special. Yeah, been been so much better. Everyone's more comfortable. Everyone knows each other. The you know that last year was just, it was. It was bizarre almost you know that I, I I didn't know the guy I didn't know him you know and the receivers didn't know him no one knew him and uh him. no one knew him that's right I was I was scared of him and uh so I'm getting over that a little bit getting over my fear a little bit and uh but uh it's really it's really been fun and, and then also to have just had the special year last year that we all shared in and 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 to you know but it, it's been 100 percent different just on on us knowing what he likes for Byron to know what he likes for us to know how he trains for him to know what we expect out of him and uh, it's all been better everything's been better him with the receivers I think I don't think there's any area that isn't isn't much much better than a year ago at this time. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm no, I'm certainly no doctor, but I know this. He 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 looks like he's about a 25 year old out there bouncing around. He's uh, he's he's enjoying himself, and you can tell he's comfortable and he feels good, and and uh, he's really had a nice nice camp, and he really really is amazing. Even for all of us who have watched watched him for so many years, it's it's it's, it's amazing what he does, you know, and and how he attacks practice and how he enjoys it, and just and and just feet and arm the whole thing is it's 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 really really is amazing so um he looks comfortable he's having fun he's bouncing around and uh, it, it, it's really been a good camp that way you've been through the process of winning a super bowl having a chance to repeat with a great quarterback when you look back to that year what, what, what do you learn from that as you try and do the same yeah you know what it, you know what it does for me it, may, it makes you thankful that you have a quarterback like we got because Peyton the same way that there's zero chance of complacency zero that they won't allow it to happen it's not in their being you know not with coaches not with quarterback meetings not with their quarterback coach not with drill work not with teammates that I think the best thing you can do you know that the, the less leader you have at quarterback then the harder it is to you know not have a not have complacency, not have a letdown or something. I, I just think it's not even an option. And and I remember that at Indy with Peyton, and you know that doesn't even cross anyone's mind that you would come to camp and not have been in shape or not have done your work in the summer and not to do all those things. So I think I think it really makes me. I think that's the advantage. I, I said to you guys last year that I think one of the things we went out and got in free agency was a leader in extenuating circumstances where that, you know, there's a lot of quarterbacks who can't, everyone doesn't come to town and they can't rally them up and they can't get their work done, you know, at an offsite place. And uh, that that's part of what we get besides what you see on game day. It's the off season. It's, it's how guys approach things. It's how guys practice. It's how guys do voluntary workouts. It's, it's how guys do all that stuff. And I think it's the same story with the Super Bowl that, uh, you know that that that's one of the, you know everyone everyone knows you 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 got a good quarterback and a guy who can throw a ball, but it's those off season things, it's the complacency things that that that's what you that's the real benefit of the Tom Brady's of the world that uh you know there's no chance 
that now we you know if we get beat we get beat but it won't be because of a letdown it won't be because we didn't do our take care of business in training camp or summer and uh, the guys were looking looking around and not focused on football and, and distracted with other things that won't happen under his watch it won't happen and uh, that includes me too that uh, you know that, that that's that's kind of one of the neat things about coaching these high performers like like those guys you mentioned is that you know, hey, you, you you better be on. You better dot your I's and cross your T's because they're they're not going to settle for anything less. They didn't even let you sleep in the day after the Super Bowl. No, how about that? That's a that's a fact. But uh, no, he's he's it's been it's been really really fun, and uh, you know it's, it's hard to believe. You know, you really for the most part just met just met a year ago or just over a year ago, and uh, that's it's kind of it's a lot has happened around here in one year, and. Uh, with all the extenuating circumstances and and all, so it's uh, it, it's it's been a pretty special journey, and uh, I'm really excited about this year because I, I really think we're going to be better, and and uh, and the camp's been good, and guys are excited about playing football. One one thing about this bunch is they they show up to practice and and love football, or no, you know, there's not much drama around here. You just come out and play football day after day after day, and for a coach, that's. That's a dream, you know. That's that's heavenly. That guys just want to come play football. Guys want to practice. Guys aren't trying to get out of practice, you know. Like, you know, at, at half the franchises, guys are trying to see if they could miss a couple of days or, uh, you know, sneak a rest in here or there. And and that hasn't been the case here. Guys just guys want to practice. And so, anytime you want to practice for a coach, that you can't get it any better than that. And and I don't know anybody who wants to practice who doesn't get better. Now, if you have enough talent, that you know, that's to be determined. But. But uh, if you if you want to practice and you come out here and work every day, I, I don't know anyone who hasn't gotten better by doing that. Tom Brady included, from rookies to Tom Brady and everything in between. You go work, you get better. You talked about um, work being done in the off season. Obviously, Tom couldn't do a lot of physical work at, at times because he was rehabbing that knee injury. And everything. But you know, how much of what he did, like on the, I mean, because I imagine there's a lot of work being done on the mental side after giving himself a rest. Yeah, I think. You know what? I, I it's been more gradual than it is him coming back from vacation with three spiral notebooks full of ideas. But it's 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 graduated itself through. Texting. Yeah, well, yeah, a few texts, but uh, but you, you know, just last season, you know, that we ended last season a lot closer to everyone being on the same page than when we started it. You know, when we. You know, for us to miss all of offseason last year when you picked up a brand new quarterback who'd been in the same system for 21 years or 20 years, whatever it was, is, is you know, because that's when you talk ball. That's when you sit down and you just talk about what you love and you talk about what they did at New England. You talk about what they did at Colts or the Pittsburgh Steelers or what B.A. really loves or what Byron really believes in. All those conversations didn't happen till the, happen till the season, and that, that, that makes it extremely difficult. And so those things have been – you know, he's had a huge impact on it, and and you know it's just been a good merging. But the merging kind of took place gradually, and we're continuing to do it. And and then a lot of it, I think, again for him now, he knows what Mike Evans does well. He knows what Chris Godwin does well. AB's full speed. He's not. We're not picking him up, picking him up in the middle of a season. You know, so you you got a chance to get a couple things for him ready. So I think all of it together. You know, it's, been, it's just been more – it's more of a journey. It's more of a fluid process than it is, you know, hey, I was rehabbing my knee and sitting on the beach and I came up with these 43 ideas. Here, take them to Byron and get them in. It really it, – it isn't like that. It's, it's just – but it is more, boy, we did this well last year. We could build on that and put a play off of this play. Or we can – you know, it's, it's just a building process and you just kind of – you know, you start from the bottom and you put a play on top of a play and then, you you know, you just kind of figure these things out and it just kind of goes up and comes together, so to speak. And uh, so that, you know, so it, but it, but it's a fun process. That's that's what's really fun. That's what's fun about having a quarterback who knows what he likes. And uh, and uh, the great thing about him is he is he's so darn humble that at the end of the day, he wants to do what the coaches want, which, uh, you know, there's no. Not gonna throw a tantrum because he doesn't get his way, and yet there's a mutual respect both directions. That you know, if Tom says, "Boy, this is you know, I promise you, I'll, I'll find a guy open on this concept. I love this concept." Then you, you know, then then we're, we're we're smart enough. I believe we're smart enough to just listen and and uh, and work that way, and and vice versa. If 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 he brings something and 
and and it just doesn't fit with Byron and and uh, BA, then then he's great. Hey, great, let's go make this other work. You know, so it's re really is a we really have a great atmosphere for learning, a great atmosphere for progressing and getting better and better. We have humble participants and. Uh, and uh, which makes it a fun place to work, fun, fun, fun atmosphere to be in. Really, really fun. How, how Speaking of, speaking of, um, of, of guys who don't miss practice, what have you just observed by watching Mike Evans? This yeah, I think you know, same thing. I just think he's better. I think you know, I think he would say having Tom around, having Tom around's made everyone better. Not that you know, but I just think he's excited, and you know, I, I do think this that when you know, if you haven't. If, if you haven't won a Super Bowl or you haven't you kind of won big, so to speak, then, man, you taste and you go, man, that, that, that's pretty darn good stuff. Let's go, let's go try and do it again. You know, there's, there's something about getting a taste of winning big games that stays in you. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's do it more, you know, and I think that I think Mike, to me, has just a great look on his face as another guy who has stayed healthy through this camp and, and – and, has gotten better and better and better, and it, we really have had a, a healthy camp. Knock on wood that that you know the guys have been out there practicing, which is which is exciting. You know, especially you come out of camp, usually you're you know you're missing six starters for this, and this guy's not practicing. Twenty guys on the injury report, and that that really hasn't been the case. We've had you know our little hiccups, but they haven't been they haven't been major, especially considering you know the COVID era so to speak where you could I think that's I think that's what happened last year for the for our football team that you know we we stayed healthy we kept practicing we kept improving that that's uh there's a novel concept you know you just keep plodding away and you get better every day and uh, a little bit cliche-ish but uh, there's some truth in it you just it's hard to do yeah I think I, I you know Great question, but that's that's one of the fun things about my job because you you know you're not looking for a, you know you're not looking for a fifty percent jump you know you're not going to find a fifty percent jump but he looks hard for it and so kind of together but I, I think that technique stuff he we've worked hard on his feet he really wanted to do that I think you know some of the certain routes that maybe weren't as familiar with him that you come back and you say hey that's a concept I want to I want to master and uh, you know I hadn't done that before hey I hadn't had Mike Evans since you know, Randy Moss, I want to make my post corner, you know, we're going to work hard on our post corner. So there, there's a ton of things to improve on and uh, both technique wise and familiarity and, uh, and those things. So I think that's kind of a, that's a, that's a fun thing with these high performers. And again, I think just, uh, just the atmosphere of not trying to get out of there. Like he comes out here every day to improve, you know, and, uh, and we probably try and talk him into taking a little bit of time off and he, He's not interested, you know. He wants to come. Hey, not interested. Let's let's get out there and get better today. And uh, huh? There you go. There you go. And uh, so. The, oh, I don't know. Yeah, not not that often. It's just more dialogue, and it, it it it's a great relationship, and I've really enjoyed it, and. It's fun on all on, on the professional side and the personal side, you know that that uh, you know that we do we do I do want them to get away from it. He knows he has to get away from it, so it's less than you think. It's less than you think, and then I think the other thing is that he you know that he was doing rehab and and having to do it. His training changed a little bit this year because of the circumstances. So so that that all that all I think started we started maybe a little bit behind, but but that that's been that's been great.